Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the new video. Hope you guys are having a good new year so far. Um, I just made a video the other day of different kinds of camera angles. And I did a dolly or tracking angle. And I wanted to show you guys how to zoom in without using a dolly. So if you guys haven't seen the video already, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description and there will be a link on screen. So you guys will know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to zoom in post-production using Final Cut Pro 10. And I'm also going to add a letter bo letterbox effect to make it look a little bit more cinematic. So I'll show you guys how to do this real quick. Um, it's very easy. So what we want to do first is um, I'll show you guys how to zoom in real quick. So you want to find um, the start of the clip and the end of the clip. Um, uh, what I do is just kind of like view the end of the clip just so I know where the video is going to you know, end at. It also shows you right here. You just open this tool right here. You go to crop, um, Ken Burns, and right here it's pretty basic. Here's your starting point and here's the end point. Um, so the start point, they actually have this opposite. Um, so that's weird. Yeah, they got this opposite. Anyways, so we'll start with our end. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Let's get this, actually, let's get the start back up. Let's fit real quick. Fit the screen. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's our starting point. Make sure we're fully in frame. And we're just going to minimize this to where we want to zoom in at. This will be the end of the video, end of the clip. Oops. Okay. So we can really put it wherever we want, but I typically like to do like the center of the video. So right about there should be good. Hit done. And just let this render out. Okay, so now that it's rendering, let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Oh yeah, that's smooth. This was filmed in 4K, so we got that zoom in option and don't lose a whole lot of quality. Alright, so that's that. So now I'm going to show you guys the letterbox real quick. So we go to effects, go down to. letterbox. I'm going to take this, drag it. And for the letterbox, we're going to choose the ratio of, okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to choose ratio of, um, I do either 2.35 or 2.55. Um, let's go with 2.35. That's the one I normally go with. Alright, so that's done rendering, so let's go ahead and play it back. 